Simplify. Assume that variables can represent any real number. The square root of the quantity x squared minus 8x plus 16. The first thing to recognize is that x squared minus 8x plus 16 can be rewritten as x minus 4 quantity squared. And so we have the square root of x minus 4 quantity squared. We need to be concerned with the fact the variable can represent any real number, and therefore it could give us a negative expression inside of the parentheses. And therefore, when we take the square root of x minus 4 quantity squared, we say that it's equal to the absolute value of x minus 4. And that's our answer.